Hi, Nicole. Hi, Tori. Hi. So I have lots of questions about videos. I already told you I've seen a couple of your TikTok videos, so I'm really excited to get to talk to you today. Thank you. One of the big questions that I had was, what's your story? How long have you been a video content creator? Uh, yes, before working as a professional video content creator, I was always fascinated about creating videos. So I started recording videos of my activities and created my own blogs. Then came TikTok. So as a dancer and a fitness instructor, I enjoy doing TikTok. So after several months, I realized that video cutting creator is what I want to do. So I resigned from my job in the customer service field, researched about video cutting creator, remote jobs, and I applied and was hired. So Lori, it has, it has been almost two years now that I've been video cutting creator and I can say it's a rewarding job. With this profession, I am able to share my skills in dancing, social media marketing, and it has developed my creativity and originality. And it is fulfilling when you're able to do what you love to do and at the same time you are learning and growing professionally and financially awesome <laughs> well that definitely leads into my next question which is what are the tasks that you did with your previous employer as a video content creator as a content creator i am responsible for providing information and material across any platform or channel so on a daily basis i create content according to the services or products that my client is offering to their customers or clients, such as these are promotional social videos, infographics, and product marketing videos. One video can be used on a different platforms and social media channels, such as Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, IGTV, Facebook Stories, and Instagram Stories. Awesome. So that came, you're like leading in perfectly. <laughs> I'm like, wait, I have a question that kind of has, pertains to that. You're really great about answering the questions and making me understand just because I'm not tech savvy. It's really helpful that you're explaining it in words and ways that I understand. That's why I need a VA that can help me with this, right? If I knew how to do it, I might not need as much help. What tools do you use to create your videos? The tools that I use when creating videos are Canva and CapCut. Canva has loads of super templates that you can choose from and create your own graphics simply by replacing content. And as for CapCut, cat it has a big music library with exclusive copyrighted songs that you can use for your video. So it is easy, convenient to use. So aside from my phone, when recording video, I have Canon Revel and Ring Light to use. Oh, nice. Yeah, I have a light over here right now. I'm just, <laughs> that's exciting to me that you have things other than just your phone that you're using. But you were talking about the music. That means your videos won't get tagged or taken down because you don't have permission to use that music that's in the background. Awesome. Awesome. I've had one of my videos was taken down for that. And I was like, why? Super helpful. I learned a lot from this. That's awesome. And like I said, I have seen you on TikTok and I love the videos. I think it's really cool that you were a dancer because you do definitely bring that in. I'm always like, oh, I don't know if I could pull that off, <laughs> but you do great. What type of dancing did you do? I do Zumba. I do ballroom. I also do hip hop. That's awesome. What's your favorite <laughs> ballroom dance? I love cha-cha and oh. then... Yeah, <laughs> cha cha, uh, zamba. Awesome. That, samba is hard. Glad you like it. I took a ballroom dancing class. And oh, really? I'll stick to selling real estate. We'll leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for talking with me today. I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you soon. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. 